The Ahsoka Show is straight up Rebels Season 5, in all the best ways. The fear that many people had going into this show is that we would essentially be getting Mando Season 6, just a copy and paste of the same type of Disney storytelling, cheesy jokes, and mediocre dialogue. While I have heard some people complain that this is the case, I just don't see it. If you didn't watch Rebels, a lot of this is probably foreign to you, and I'm honestly not sure if it's being well received by the masses. But for fans of the animated series, the accuracy in bringing those places and characters to life is exceptional. The highway from Lothal is exactly the way it is in Rebels. Ezra's tower is exactly the way it is in Rebels. Usually there's a lot to overcome when adapting animation to live action, but in terms of world and the details, they absolutely nailed it. And that also applies to the characters as well. Chopper would be pretty hard to mess up, but that also means that the one that we're getting is the same Chop that we've always known. Sabine is perfect as well. The actress is absolutely nailing it. Her mannerisms, quips, word choice, and motivations are all in line with the way that Sabine from Rebels would act. This makes it very believable that we are watching the same character. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for Hera. This has very little to do with the actress or the performance or the dialogue and has more to do with her appearance. To be honest, it looks like the actress is wearing green face paint, but beyond that, her design in Rebels is very artistic and I don't really see a way that they would be able to bring her to live action any better. I'm sure I won't think twice about it as we get farther into the season, but as of now, it's hard for my brain to see Hera as opposed to any other green Twi'lek. Another thing I wanted to mention. There were multiple times in the premiere when I expected characters to say something cringy or not in line with who they were in Rebels, and over and over again, this was not the case. For example, in this scene, I fully expected Sabine to say some typical Marvel-style clapback or even give the middle finger to the Lothal pilot. But what does she say instead? Well, here's a new order. Get lost. Completely in line with animated Sabine. This kind of dialogue decision, along with many others, has proven to me, at least for these first two episodes, that there was some genuine thought given to staying true to the world of Star Wars and the characters that we already know.